dude. Today is Wednesday. How are you guys doing? This will be episode 49 or 50. Don't get me lying. <laughs> okay. I'm on my way to go pick up the uh, computer. Uh, they say it should be done. So, uh, we shall see. We got all the information from one computer put onto the other one. So, uh, there was no fixing the other one. The iMac Mini. So, the good thing is that I get all my information hopefully the way that it was before the whatever happened to it happened to it and they said something about a uh, a graphics board I think he said was uh, messed up on it but before I even continue this uh, conversation welcome to it's life dude I'm that dude let's not wake up in the morning and have a fat glass of stupid with a bowl of idiot soup with a big fat cup of uh, huh? On the side. Let's not do that. Let's just pay attention to what we're doing while we're driving out here on these roads and highways and byways. Let's uh, not be distracted and let's uh, make sure that we arrive alive. All right? To all my people in the Philippines, hey, how you doing? What's up? And hello. To all my people out there in Jamaica, how you doing? What's up? And hello. To Washington State, California, to Texas, to North Carolina, to Florida, to Connecticut, and to New York. Hey, how you doing, folks? What's up and hello? Once again, this is It's Life Dude. I'm that dude. Welcome. One and all. And for those who are checking out this page for the first time, Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, and all the good stuff. Okay? Ringing the notification bells, leaving comments, all of that. It helps us to grow, and I would truly appreciate it. To all the ones that already are subscribed, thank you very much. I truly appreciate you. One and all, one and all, one and all. All right? Now, uh, back to what we were saying. about the uh, computer I'm going to go pick it up right now uh, these guys say that uh, it should be finished they called me earlier and said everything was being transferred over from one computer to the next so everything should be everything we're going to check it out once we get home and uh, we're going to see if it is what it's really supposed to be you know what I mean you feel me alright so once again, thank you all. I truly appreciate you. I do not take any of you for granted. You are all extremely cool people. I'm hitting these bumps like nobody's business out here. I don't know what's going on uh, with these roads. They're, they were supposed to be fixing them, but uh, I see a lot of construction going on, but still got the same potholes. And now we got wires hanging from the daggone. Uh, post, so I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, yo. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'd like to thank you again. Uh, I can I continue to do that, and I can't help it. I just truly appreciate you. I really do. But uh, yes, I'm so excited about this computer uh, being fixed. I, I can't wait. You know, I got all of my main music on there. I can uh, go ahead and start working on some stuff. Uh, I, I, and I'm gonna be doing uh, the the uh, videos coming up about my dad and that's we're gonna start working on those this Sunday coming up uh, and then I've got some work I need to get accomplished and get done but I will post every day that I can uh, and uh, let you guys know what it is that we will be doing but uh, I'm excited about uh, this upcoming week I'm excited about the computer uh, it's a lot it's a lot uh, off my chest with that because it was really getting on my nerves. I'm telling you. 
just thinking about it was, was driving me nuts because I couldn't get my stuff off of there. I've got photos. I've got I've got uh, music, music galore on there. But now with this new computer, you know, I've got a terabyte of processing power, so that's a good thing. That's a damn good thing. I'm so happy about that. I'm excited. But yeah, now it's time to get to work and to make this thing blow up and uh, do what I'm supposed to do with it. And uh, I truly appreciate you guys for uh, hanging out with me. Yep, I really do. You guys are awesome. Look at all this water. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at that. Yep. So, first thing I'm going to do when I get back to the house is uh, hook everything up. Uh, I'm going to do it while I'm on camera once I get back to the house. And uh, I don't have to cook dinner for the missus because she's got leftovers from yesterday. She enjoyed her, her the stuff that I bought her from the, uh, the store there. Yeah, she she did not like the fact that uh she she liked the food but she didn't she'd rather have beef bulgogi than the pork bulgogi. That's what she said. So you know I gotta keep that in mind. Uh, I thought I was doing her a favor, you know, because I don't eat pork. She don't eat pork just because I don't. I figured I was you know um doing a treat, but you know she still she was still happy because uh, it was different and, and you know something that she likes so it's good yep and uh today i'm thinking about i might get some uh some chicken i don't know i don't know i'm in the mood for some chicken maybe some uh some fries i, I don't need the fries but i'm just i have a uh craving for french fries i don't know why it's been a while but I'm, i i know i need to behave and watch my my blood sugar and all that good stuff you know what i mean so there's that. <laughs> I am almost to the place that we're supposed to be. Once again, welcome to It's Life Dude. I'm that dude. Thank you all for checking me out. You didn't have to be checking me out. You could have been anywhere else, but instead you're here with me. And I hope I'm not boring the fool out of anybody. You know what I mean? Someone told me to make sure that I remain myself and to keep doing what it is that I'm doing because they say that I'm doing a great job. I hope that I am. And uh, other folks are telling me to have some patience. And remember, not having patience will turn you into one. And that I'm not trying to be. At all. At all. Is it what is it when you get ringing in the ear tendonitis or or I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called when you get the the weird ringing in your ear. But yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. And the ear is still ringing. I don't know why it's doing that. Somebody's talking about me. You ever heard that when when they say uh, your ears are ringing, someone's talking about you? Uh, that used to be a superstitious thing, you know. When I was coming up, people used to say that. My ears are ringing. Someone's talking about me. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, folks. I am here go on in there and let's talk business people don't really like this camera thing so I'm not gonna uh, be disrespectful and uh, just bring it in I did that yesterday and the guy was he was, he was kind of put off by it so I'm not gonna do the same thing I'd like to but you know I know how I feel so I'm not gonna just impose this upon people so uh, I'll be respectful about it so uh, bear with me a little something something and let's go ahead and get this uh, taken care of, folks. I'll be back.
Hold tight. Okay, folks, I got permission to record. All right. Coming back in here. Just met a gentleman who's a music dude like myself. All right. Come in there, man. All right. Can't see what I do with your thing. All right. Put this four apostrophes. Okay. Right in. Okay. But all right, show you. Right. And what's your name again, sir? I'm Alan. Alan. Okay. Uh, Motown Philly. So you were you were down with our boys the men and you were do you did a lot of the programming for the the music or just uh well, we did we were actually one of their the group that was signed with them to do it and then we learned we signed to them underneath their label and started writing songs with them for us. But okay. then we left them and we got with a I'd say Barry Hankerson which was a, with Aaliyah. Okay. And stuff and so this is this is a thing with me and Aaliyah in the studio. This is me and Aaliyah show you can hear talking. Okay. Man, it's it's a sad thing when she passed, man. Yeah, she was the backbone of our label when we were signed to. Wow. And we all came back and we get regular jobs from our computer store, things I knew how to do, working off these Macs and shit. So okay, this your store? Okay, okay. Let's see, so her, then you kind of go through the other stuff, but I'll tell you. Let's see. Here goes all kind of crap. So, okay. You see, we were assigned to the, to the podcast. So, the podcast is called Waiting for Impact. Here's us with Aaliyah, or Queen Latifah at that time. Oh, wow. She was trying to sign with us at that time, real early in our career. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. This is Bivens. So we were signed to Biv, Mike Bivens. Wow. Yeah. Freaking awesome, dude. Different stuff. But you remember the days of tape? Yeah, so, yeah. That was the old tapes. We had to send these out trying to get our stuff. Dude, I still have a, a, a tape deck. Yeah, you got to. I, I keep it in my studio. I got a whole lot of old equipment that I still keep because, you know, sometimes I even go back to the old false decks and, and, and work on that digital. <laughs> I don't throw stuff away when, no. you, when you resist it because it'll be the one time you throw it away that you want that sound off yeah, the keyboard yeah, that you yeah, can't get no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you keep it all, but you kind of see here this kind of... Everything it adds up after a while, though. He was on he was in Black Beat, like a bunch of the old, so when new kids and, you know, stuff was out KD. like that. We were on different stuff, like, here. Wow. You know, you go see those the articles on us because we were singing R&B music from Denby. We were sounding like Backstreet. They so used to be like, do oh, you have anything a little bit more? And I'm like, you know, I'm Denby, man. I don't got no, you know, back to the moon or whatever they were singing about. Our stuff was just about real shit so yeah. you're just saying real life situations and that Denby shit that's what my uh, but that's where you see we're all in like the articles from there just had a black beat right on the magazine I used to read when I was younger wow so I was like it was cool to actually see us okay I'm on the uh, uh, the uh, the podcast that I have is called It's Like Dude and I'm gonna put this on tonight and so you'll see this on tonight and it's all one word It's Like Dude okay yeah definitely you kind of see he was doing shows traveling Doing a lot of things, the 9-11 hit, and it kind of screwed us up. And plus, we were kind of a little bit darker for the radio at the time, and they were trying to do more push the back street. And, wow. And think, well, we were from wearing black shit, man. We're from, I'm from Denver Boulevard, man. I'm kind of, <laughs> I ain't from Orlando. So, okay. You know, but anyway, we that's kind of what we were singing, doing all the shit out wow. there. Eatonville in Orlando, which is traditionally an urban area. We did a show with Jagged Edge and people like that. Okay. Versus, you know... Versus all the little, you know, more poppy shows. So it's kind of we were going a different route. But yeah, when, I, when you when they were, when I was on the phone with you, when the first thing you said is like I'm in the music too. I'm like, okay, <laughs> why, why is this sounding? It, it came out of nowhere, and then I, I re had realized I hadn't met you yet. Right. Well, there's stuff they were telling me, and when usually when people come in yeah. the store, let's say folks in Norfolk and stuff right. that do music that know about me, they come up here because I do know about music and saving I'm my data and knowing where where's my music and you know where it's supposed to be right. you, you everything is organized right so stuff i've been doing for years like back in the day if you look we was recording on reel to reel okay wow. those scooters i remember you those know, <laughs> yeah you know, man, having to cut tape. yep yep i mean this is tony maserati wow. he was is here this is a girl robin he used to sing show me love i think wow. back in the day when we were growing up but i'm like i'm 51 this year so you see a bunch of the stuff that you know, patching cords. Now they wow. click it, put a little check mark next to a box. And exactly. Then you actually had to run cable. Exactly. So, you know. Now they do it on uh, uh what's the program? Uh, they flip it back and forth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can actually yeah. virtually plug cables. The same idea, man. 
You know, but I'll tell you that that's kind of where I got into with the music, the, okay. this side, and I did a lot of the singing side, but nowadays, me and my best friend kind of just write. Okay, and okay. Write. You still do the NPC thing at all? Well, we use our shape like that in here. So we do more, let me find my boy child here. We use the thing I tell you, the Raven. So I was telling you when I was doing the Mac Mini, it's cool, but if you're going to go up, we're looking at actually doing a, um, the... Mac Studio, right? Because it's more built for what you do. If you do music, yeah. you want to start getting into the studio because it's just a better built machine. You find this side here. If I can find a decent one, I'll go ahead and get one quick. Dude, uh, you paid about two Gs for that damn thing, but it's That's worth what they it. Said? Yeah. It's worth it because you get 32 gigs of RAM. Okay. You get more more so than the iMac. iMac is a pretty little screen. I'm gonna use two or two or three screens. I want a screen for my track, a screen for my my mixing, and another right. one for my effects. Right. So I don't really. I'm not sold on. I don't need iMac. I want the thing that can control three screens. Exactly. So you're paying the iMac. You're putting most of that money in that screen. Well, I'm not worried. I'm sound, not video. Right. And if you can, you just get a student and get a better. You can get a bigger, better. Well, in New York, I had my whole living room was my studio, and I had two screens. Everything was set up pretty nice, but yeah. I still had, I had just got the, I, this. Well, the Mac Mini is good, but that's why I'd say when you start to push it, push up to the studio, because that's where if your money get real good spent. So you kind of see, here's our little setup we got, and me and him are still, we're still writing. This is something we just did here recently. Nice. Who's singing? That's not what's hot. Okay. So you got a lead singer of our group back then. Okay. Sounds really good, too. Yeah, you hear, like, real big in melody. Like, here's the hook. Real nice good. setup, though. That's a really nice setup. This is your studio? Yeah, this is up in Gloucester, my friend. Okay, okay. Nice. It's really nice. And we're running with a Mac Mini, like, the same one you got. Wow. We're running the same thing you got, just with a Raven board, okay? Okay. So if you look up in here, this is my boy actually singing here. Almost sounds like a sing. Almost sounds like my son. That's crazy. So you got my information. So yeah, yeah we gotta we gotta I definitely. Uh, I need my card. You can uh, get me on yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Alan, it's been very nice to meet you today, man. Nice to meet you, I gotta man. go pick up the wife soon. Yeah. But I'm definitely gonna holler at you. We gotta exchange information. Definitely. Okay, folks, I'm back. I didn't pick up the uh, Mac Mini because he's gonna put more uh, RAM in it for me and it's gonna work a lot faster uh, because I got the terabyte in that one and uh, it's not gonna charge me uh, for a redo. Uh, because he's got to reload the operating system and all that good stuff. He says he's not going to charge me for that. Plus, he's, he'll get knock the discount on there for me. So, And his name is Alan, and he used to work with a lot of professional people in the music business. And right now, he's got his own shop. And this dude and I are going to definitely continue to communicate because... Uh, one, he can be my go-to guy for a lot of things that, you know, I need to get done as far as services goes and computers and all that because he owns a computer shop and he's a good dude so far that I know because I just met the gentleman. But, uh, yeah, so far, you know, he's hooking me up. So, you know, I appreciate that. It's called Computer Concepts, okay? And uh, his name is Alan and he owns that store right there that we just came out of I was I was shocked because when I was talking to him on the phone is that is that Mike I thought that was Mike um, when I was talking to him on the phone I'm like who am I talking I didn't realize who I was talking to because I hadn't met him yet and then he started telling me about the music thing and it kind of took me aback a little bit but yeah man that, that was so cool to be in there you know, talking to the guy, it made me get, you know, a little bit late picking up the little woman because uh, uh, I got excited about all the stuff we were talking about. <laughs> so now I got to go explain myself why I'm late because you know how she gets. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. Anyway, it is, it looks like Mike. 
But uh, yeah, uh, so far so good. I can pick the computer up Monday, and uh, and everything will be good. And it, it's gonna work a lot faster. It's gonna be a lot better than the other one. I, I'm stoked about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so stoked about that. That is actually awesome. It's cool. I've you know met someone who can you know work on my stuff. I got a good computer store. I don't feel like I'm being ripped off. And you know he knows about what it, what I need it for. So you know blessings in the skies. Blessing in in the skies. Craziness. I'm 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 extremely happy. Um, uh, he knows people. You know, so, you know, possibilities are endless, you know, it's always good to know folks, even if it's just, you know, getting the computer fixed and, and being satisfied with that, you know, it's still a blessing and I'm not killing myself, my pockets are not hurting right now, so, I'm, I'm okay. So, yeah, I feel a lot more confident about that situation. Small blessings, right? I'll take them. I'll take them. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, I was taken aback by the whole thing. It 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 it, it flabbergasted me a little something something. You know what I mean? You know, uh, it is what it's gonna be, right? So uh, bear with me. I'm gonna go pick up the little lady, and uh, I'll see you guys back at the crib and the studio with massive excitement. <laughs> I can't do anything till Monday because I, that's when I'll be getting the computer back. But I'm 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 feeling good about it. So hold tight, okay? Hi. Right. Okay, folks, I am back. So I went to uh, Computer Concepts and I got uh, the I I saw my computer and I'll be getting it back Monday. I was supposed to get it back today, but. Uh, what I found out from Alan, a uh, cool dude, by the way, Computer Concepts. Uh, I'm going to chat with him and then uh, see if I can put the information in the feed or and uh, see if I can uh, put his information out there for you because uh, he is a very good uh, Apple computer guy. He knows a lot about it. And he knows exactly why I need my my machine. Um, uh, he's a he's a musician as well. He knows a lot about the MPC software. He knows a lot about the MPC machine itself. He knows a lot about beat making, and he is a, a very good tech as far as computers are concerned. Um, so there's that. Um, so I want to uh, uh, thank him again because uh, I, I, the reason I didn't get the computer back to, uh, today is because is because um, because I want to put more RAM into. Uh, I want to put a better uh, a better uh, hard drive in uh, the computer that uh, I just purchased uh, the Mac Mini, the other Mac Mini. So I'm getting a better system, and, and it's getting an upgrade, so it doesn't crash like the last one did, and it's gonna last a lot longer. Those motors go quicker, and it's gonna be a lot faster for me, and. Uh, so, Alan, thank you. I truly appreciate you, brother. Yes, I do. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I was excited about getting it back today, but when he told me about that, that upgrade, I was, I was like, I wish I would have known because I would have just had, you know, had you did that, do that, and then, you know, uh, just go ahead and take the information from one, from the old one and put it, and put it onto the new one. That, that, I mean, that's perfect. You know, so, you know, I think that's what, uh, that was the better thing to do. It's going to cost me a little bit more to, to do that, but, you know, um, I might as well do it while I can, you know. 
I might as well do it while I can. And I'm um, thinking about getting another, excuse me, another external uh, hard drive for the for the MacBook Air as well as the um, the Mac Mini. I do have another an external uh, hard drive for that one, but I want to get another one um, because that's that's got a terabyte of space. So I'm thinking about getting another one, but I'm gonna wait on all of that right now. And just get focused on getting that done because I gotta deal with these cars now. So this part is done, okay? This this part is done. As of next week, it'll be it'll be complete. I pick it up Monday. I'll be happy. Um, but as far as uh, as far as getting some other stuff done, I can make I can make my videos on this and then transfer it over to uh, I can use this Mac right here to transfer the information over to uh, the MacBook Air. Okay, folks, so thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Um, I'm sorry I have about the little silent stuff. I'll try to edit this all out, but I don't even need to say that, do I? But uh, I'm excited. Uh, I hope you guys are excited with me. And always remember and never forget, it's life, dude. Peace. I'm gone.